let's create an empty project and set the preferred name. Firstly, let's open the IO data server to create two new tags variables that will be assigned to the historian. From the tags list, use the right mouse button to insert a new tag. From the properties window, we can set the name and the variables type. Repeat the same operation for the second tag. Now, let's open the historian's resource. Using the right mouse button, let's create a new historian object. From the properties window, we can configure the historian object. Here we can decide the behavior for recording. Let's leave the default properties. Now, using the right mouse button on the object, we need to assign the tags variables that will be recorded from this object. We just created an historian and we assigned it the two tags we created before. The historian will record the tags values on the project's default database. The recording default mode is on value changes. Now, we can create a new screen to display the values. We can set the major properties of the screen when creating. Using the screen's properties, we can set the screen as we prefer. In this case, we set the fit in window property. Now, we are going to insert into the screen the sliders objects, that we'll use so the set values into our variables. Insert and size the objects as preferred. Let's use the copy and paste commands to duplicate the object. From the tags list, we are going to select the tags and we'll assign two objects using the drag and drop. Now, from the toolbox, pick up and insert into the screen a trend data analysis object. Insert and size the object into the screen. Set the object's properties using the properties window. In the data analysis settings, select the command to configure the object. The smart properties window allows you to configure more complex object in an intuitive way. In this case, we need to add a pen into the trend, using the button, plus. For each pen we insert, we have to set the color in the assigned variable. When assigning the variable, automatically the object is linked to the historian related. Let's add the second pen for the trends object using the button. Plus, and let's repeat the operation to configure the pen. Confirm the pen's configuration and close the window with OK. Now we have to set the project in order to start displaying our screen. In the project's properties, let's set the start with main page and the screen name. Well done! Let's save the project and run the runtime execution. Now the project is starting. The IO data server starts the historian engine that will record any changed value into the database.
When in stop mode, we can use the object's toolbars to make analysis, filters, printout, and other commands to better analyze the historical values. Great job! We've finished. Now we can come back to the editor stopping the runtime execution. Alt plus F4.